Envision is a culturally based project learning system. We just do a lot of things hands on. And we go, when we want to do um, traditional stuff, usually we just go out and do it. The Envision program and the concept of it is kind of like a role reversal of going from the traditional school um, perspective of a set and get to identifying with the culture, the excitement of learning. Every day is different for Envision students. We may participate in a powwow or go on a field trip, but before we do anything, we start a day off with our opening circle. We have an opening and we have a closing circle, one in the beginning of the day and one at the end of the day. Opening circle is acknowledging everybody in the day and saying hello and telling them what you look forward in that day and what you look forward to learning, what you look forward to, and just letting everybody know that you're there and you're present and you're ready to learn. It's important because that's what our ancestors do at 100 years ago and they would get together and they would say what they're gonna do and, and explain what they're gonna do with their day. Mostly what we're trying to do is bring our culture back in um, so we can talk about our projects and stuff we're gonna be doing next. It's called a man tree in an otig because uh, the men would go forward and tap the trees first. The women would follow behind and start gathering the wood and start the camp. Our culture is at the center of all of our lives and we have many teachers. Tribal elders help us link our past with the present in various ways. Our lessons start in the classroom and they continue in the community. One day we may be in the forest learning about sugaring and the next day we may be participating in a tribal council meeting. In the last year's budget there was a million two set aside just for education. I like how it's a more hands-on program so it helps me you know, to learn a different way because most people learn out of the books and we learn from projects. When they do like their various trips and learning experiences and things, you know, they come back, they're all excited, they go home, they're all excited, which in turn makes, you know, the community curious, makes their parents curious to want to attend the different functions that is um, th that the school has and it's just, it's all around positive. We're playing catch up out there. So we got to do the best we can and how we can do it is to just make it happen. And, and my, myself and a couple of other colleagues saying, hey, let's quit talking. Let's start doing, let's get things done. We enjoy our days in the Envision program because we have a voice when it comes to planning the daily lessons. We have a say in what we want to learn and what we want to do. And it's not just like sitting around all day. It's, they, they either give us choices or we could say, okay, it's time to do science. What would you like to learn about? Um, would you like to learn about rocks? Would you like to learn about plants? And like we're having a science fair in a few weeks and it's, it's all about us having a part in what we want to learn and options. We want to make sure students are engaged. Uh, I don't want to walk into a classroom and see students who aren't engaged in their learning. You walk into the Envision program and you can see that everybody's on task. Everybody's working on uh, something that is interesting for them. I think they look forward to a lot of the activities that are in the classroom. They make sense, they're relevant to the students. Um, uh, students are learning about uh, their culture, they're learning about their community, um, how, how they fit into it. They're learning about their identity. Envision and the clans are like a stick. One stick alone you can break, but if you put more sticks together they won't break. Envision's not about one person, it's about everybody and we're a team, we work together, like everybody, everyone can, everyone's invited to everything we do. There's lots of people around the community that come in, tribal-led people and community members. The program stands for community because, it, you know, the old analogy within uh, Native communities, it's, it takes a village to raise a child. You know, and uh, the vision program, it, it stands, uh, you know, as a village within the school, you know, to really uh, help a student that may be struggling, uh, you know, and bringing those skills out, you know, you know where uh, they have it in their mind, you know, and uh, for them to really flourish and to have some of these teachings that are, that are incorporated in their classrooms, you know, will, will bring some of these skills out in, in, in the students. We want to be um, on the cutting edge 
And when you're on the cutting edge, sometimes there's a little bit of blood, sweat, and tears. And, but there's a supporting cast around us to take care of those injuries as they come and mop that brow and to uh, band together. You can't do this alone. There's no um, solo acts in here. The Envision program may seem different to some, but that does not mean it is easy. We work just as hard as our other classmates. We just spend our time different ways. I'm in seventh grade, and we learn everything that a seventh grader learns. It might not be at the same pace, and it might not be at the same time, but we still get all the, all the knowledge that we're supposed to learn so we can go on to the other grade, and so we can be ready for high school. And it's not just because, let's say, seventh grade's learning about rocks and science, and we're learning about plants. It's not that we're slower or we don't know everything that the seventh graders learn. It's just that we go at a different pace. Our kids here at our like Flemo grade school are a true majority. They're, they're 95 percent plus of our Native American students. And when they have to travel off and, and when they go off to high school down at Lakeland, down in Minocqua, that transition um, hasn't been so good for us at times. Uh, the Envisions program empowers our children to succeed beyond the grade school, beyond the reservation lines here in Lake Flambeau. Uh, A's, B's, C's, they don't always tell the story. Some kids are better test takers, but when push gets to shove and we're going out in life, we need to be able to um, have this entire picture presented in such a way that um, when we're communicating or when we're receiving things, that we can do it in a manner that would honor our traditions, our elders, our piece of history that we're bringing, and we're making new history as we go forward.